guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Nasu Dragni here, and you're watching Game of Nuts. And let's rumble! Alright, guys, I'm doing the Uncle Quest, as you guys know. Okay, let's see what is the secret of Scorching Desert. Okay, we're still doing the chapter 3 and 4 King Desert, and okay. Man. Let's do this. We just need to go through this. As you guys seen the last video, hope I uploaded a time. Okay. We found out a lot of truth about King District and the Greater Lord. Okay. Let's just do this part. Skip it. We're here. Everything's been arranged. Someone will bring the village keepers back to our village shortly. I guess all I can say now is thanks for agreeing to help. I don't think so. I think we can both agree you went to hell and back for it. But we share a common cause now. Where are the per- I'll bring you to them. So these are the people who kidnapped the village keepers. Oh no, it's the scribe! There's no need to yell. No one can help you now. That's right. General Mahabatra! No, no! Make it good, please! Swift and painless! The moment they set eyes on Sino, they turn pale like they've seen a ghost! Uh, yeah, you when they hear his dad jokes, coming for you. he will be just in a laughing stock. You know what I'm talking about, right? There's no way we could have done all this by ourselves. No, not Sino. He's gonna tear us limb from limb. I could do worse. <laughs> He's giving me the bad men vibes. Otherwise, so, your superiors have kept you quite busy recently. Why? What are they trying to accomplish? Uh, they, um, wanted to extract canned knowledge. Don't play dumb. You know what I'm really asking. They extract divine canned knowledge. Then... I... I, I don't, really don't know how to explain it. Well, you better start talking or you'll be sorry! You don't want to make things any more difficult for yourself, do you? Be my guest. Huh? Huh? Uh huh? It sure didn't sound like a fancy metaphor or anything. You're serious, aren't you? How did you know? There's no use hiding it now. Yes, you're right. The Academia is working on an important and potentially world-changing project. They are creating a new god. A god that will belong to them. And it may seem as if Sumeru's academics are thriving. But ever since the death of Greater Lord Ruka Devata, scholarly breakthroughs have been few and far between. The withering of Ermin's soul has been getting worse recently. The sages have tried everything they could think of, but nothing's worked. I'm always hearing them say things like, if... Continue. And then, someone from the Fatui showed up. They called him the Doctor. He brought a, a, a Gnosis, and said he wanted to borrow the Academia's research facilities. The Doctor was previously expelled from the Academia. At first, the sages looked down at him in disdain. But he asked them, do you wish to create a god? This is what the arrogant ignorance at the extreme end of Academia looks like. First, the Academia spent a long time constructing a divine vessel, which was based on an exquisite humanoid puppet. After that, they harvested dreams via the Seb Zerus Festival Samsara, maximizing the Akasha's output. With the Doctor's help, and the Akasha now functioning at maximum efficiency, they were able to use it. Next, they decided that their new god, Needed to possess divine wisdom. That's up. But how do you determine whether the knowledge extracted is of divine origin? We call it an educated guess. The academia has been trying to figure out the exact source okay. of the scholar's madness for centuries, but it's no avail. Nobody can explain the cause of this phenomenon. Uh, surely, if it's knowledge no mortal can comprehend, then it must be something only gods are able to decipher. Hmm.
You must have noticed by now. The Academia doesn't care about who their god is. It's the ability to exercise control over knowledge and wisdom that matters. It is as if they are cursed with a desire for omniscience and omnipotence that some organisms demonstrate phototaxis and thus orient their entire lives in respect to sources of light. This is but a form of phototaxis. For many scholars, the absence of a god of wisdom means stumbling in the darkness for the duration. Then what does Lesser Lord Kusanali mean to you? Is she not a true god present in this world? If you already have... From the beginning, the Academia has never treated her as a god. When the Academia first discovered Lesser Lord Kusanali, the newborn god of wisdom, the sages hoped that she, they found that at the time she possessed no more intelligence than any ordinary human child. The sages never had a rude awakening. This forced them to accept that Greater Lord Rupert, not to mention that Lesser Lord Kusanali's Gnosis, had been used to power the Akasha this entire time. By herself, she has neither an Archon's raw power, nor the spectacle. Slowly but surely, people began to forget about it. So, this is the path the sages have chosen. Okay. All right, let's try to keep our cool. I do not have a lot of speaking in this. Let's change up our scenery. Rama, give me a few men to help us escort the village keepers back to the village. Sure, as you wish. Okay. Okay, I think uh, the autumn quest is coming to an end here. Okay. For now, let's just put the scene and okay, I'll come back here. Okay, before, let me just check out the name. Still it. Okay, let's do this. Alright! Let's do it. Oh, before getting any further, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh god, I'm better guy. Let return to their homes. Each one has a dedicated caregiver to look after them. The two new scholars are being kept in a close division, too. Really great work of Nothing left to talk about. And that, or I can go. F oh, I'm on Do you have any plans, Traveler? Gods above, you're not talking about work, are you? Hmm. So you were still withholding some information? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Even though we lived through all of this firsthand, it still feels super surreal to hear you talk. What a whirlwind of a story. Felt like I was holding my breath the whole time. It seems like there will be more issues to face in the days ahead than I'd anticipated. Mm. Still, now's a good time to make our next move. Now that Raman's joined us, we'll be an even stronger team. It's time to make a plan. Indeed. These events are a flagrant transgression of the rules in every- So, everyone, are we on the same page? Crush the sages and rescue our god. That is our ultimate goal. Well, let's brainstorm a little more about what other resources we can draw on. The next time we gather here, we yep, it'll work. Oh god. Cool. Hey. Okay. New quest. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. We're at Act 5. Boom, boom. <laughs> I thought it was wrong with me. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Ok Ấn hành kịp tiền rồi Ok Now we need to do this quest Ok This is a lot Pay for Wait till in the next day Ok Pay as a key Okay, now let's check the knee. Hmm. Now let's just take out this one more and boom. Let's jump to Candace. Now let's do this. Candace, we're here! Has everyone arrived? Everyone is already waiting. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's join them! Please. Wait, before attending the meeting, I hope. What do you mean? Promise me that you won't commit to anything too reckless. What do you think? Oh, <laughs> you're asking the best guy to be not be reckless. Okay. Okay, let's do this. We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? Yeah. Very well. Let's do this. Are you sure this is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Only impressed. Hmm. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Uh, you're making Paimon nervous. Hey, this is taking a lot of time. You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Ta well, traveler, Paimon. Judging from your expressions, the meeting was- You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's in- uh, I'm a little worried. Hopefully- To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already- <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment! Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that. Although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to have said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. You are only when you're safe can the plan be successful. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Okay. Good luck. Whew. Okay. It is I, the wonder. <laughs> you know the fuck? Funny thing is, we're going to be him and I'm playing as him. <laughs> mm, sounds good. I'm gonna make some preparations. Okay. I'll Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah. Also, Candace told everyone to be careful. Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. We must go beyond that and fully commit ourselves to it. <laughs> I hope this is clear to you. Yep. Huh? Shouldn't we be saying something more cheerful to boost our- Didn't we already do that during the meeting? <laughs> we could never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. <laughs> we don't have to do, after all. It's like how some people can- Well, of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage nah, of not being a scholar. mercenary is that I get to stay in a safer place and offer my strategic insight. Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single day. Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation. And you are a scholar! Okay. <laughs> of the same species. Some will exhibit far more potential than others. Oh. This guy. Huh. still remembers when those mercenaries and poor Ormos called you a lunatic. 
all intellectuals are lunatics in the eyes of fools. Point taken. That is a compliment. Okay. Hmm. That reminds me. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshrit ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane. But this fact has never been shared with the public. Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, I think those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qual- But the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge come to think of it. Perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The withering. Elazar and the sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden- What? Hyman thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the whip police. That's what Tainari- Wait a second. Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. But, but if that's the case- Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preferences. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Okay. Please be a wakewinder. Yeah, oh, we're going back to the poison council. Okay, that is fair. Because I did not... I had a lot of waypoints unlocked, but... You know, these areas, it's not much of a lot. And also, in the Samara City, a lot of places, not much of a lot. But still, doable. Okay, let's just go. Too slow. Ah, they're here. Huh? What are they I gave them some... technical... It's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready. Aren't those devices? Look here. Huh? Uh, more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff in- What's that look on your face? Are you scared? No. Hyman's a little scared, but very, very scared. <laughs> That's, anyway, we're not going to use the- As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. Traveler, I want you to record- Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord with good? Conviction is- Now, please get ready and put on the- You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. <sighs> Hyman is still- I understand. But trust me, Pine, because to achieve this impossible task, hmm. Hyman can see the point you're trying to make. I'm ready. Imagine this: we have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's, and everything went without a hitch. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does any it's just a recording. There should be no negative. But what was the point of doing this? And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Uh huh? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akash. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you after all that time. What? Uh... A slave to orders. And that's why rules are so important. In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. You could say that those kinds of ambiguous songs can be very... Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Samara scholars like this? Hmm? Anyway, that's okay. not chat. 
I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can... Small projects? We're going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few... Modifications. modifications. Okay, that sounds interesting. <laughs> I'm smiling like a maniac. Literally. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Alright. <laughs> I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you the plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties? I've given but it's still the best plan we have. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend! You're just in time. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment. So you'll take care of the specific Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru's... Wait! How can we work with the guards? Can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan re My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion. And that also sounds like something all hate. Doesn't all hate them know how dangerous this Of course he does. He told me. There is no he also said that with the help of Sino and the traveler, I never blindly trust anyone. And I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made it. If I make the arrests alone. I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of disc to make the whole thing more convincing. You'll need to resist to some degree. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our... <laughs> I can't believe a Matro would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life. Oh I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the okay. right to know important things like that. Oh, you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can get out? <laughs> I know. Mm -hmm. We should help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the god. Sino, on behalf of my... We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. Well, now that you've put it that, but remember... You need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation. Okay. You have a in the courtyard nearby. We can find there. Chris Fun. General Mahamatra. To to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I... Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is... But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? They're a squad of air mites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormond. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classed. And I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible. Got it. Please wait a moment. I'll contact them immediately. Okay. Because this is work. Because I trust you. you're still in the mood to chat. This whole thing has time on scared shifts. Aren't you even a little worried? What if this, even if that guard doesn't know? We discussed this, remember? From, uh... Okay, Paman, stop talking. The operation is of great importance, but don't worry. The guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. 
If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract no matter how you look at it. They don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect our... The Akasha is still in operation. So I must rem... Actually... Considering the power of the Akasha... It's quite strange... That it hasn't already tried to... In I've given that a lot of thought. If you remember... When you first came to Aru village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to Bot. Things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm. That's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But the key to this question is... Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can... However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? Okay. How can our feelings and opinions be predictable down to the letter in every single instance? Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who could sway you or your thoughts, the Akasha could produce predictions that were similar to your real-life behavioral principles. Decisive and principled. You were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe our thoughts and logic have intermingled. And the Akasha lacks data on these interactions. And it's impossible for it to predict your actions in the future based on... So, in my opinion, you're probably... Hmm, that makes sense to me. And I agree. The Akasha is not alive. And I don't think we can be completely controlled by something without a mind of its own. <sighs> yes, that's I guess a... there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. <laughs> and people will not be forever... <laughs> Next time, pay attention during our meetings. <laughs> <laughs> will do. <laughs> okay. Now, let's Just do this. Just remember to stay vigilant. General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the police. Officer please work. Sand District. My name is Luxembourg. This is my assistant, the traveler. He will be working. What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the Understood. <sighs> Matt, hurry, bring the map. In two days, we will in any questions about the time None at all, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Okay. This is all due to the absolute of get ready. So we need to make two days. Huh. Okay. Alright guys, I'm gonna end my video right here. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye guys!